In step 6, the team will work on mastering the supply market competitiveness. Anna explains to Daniel. In this step, Daniel, you can use Michael Porter's five forces model to determine the competitiveness within a specific category. How do the five forces help in analyzing a category? I'm glad you asked, Daniel. The five forces are scope for new entrants, power of suppliers, scope for substitutes, and power of buyers with competitiveness in the middle. Can you explain in more detail? Sure, Daniel. Let's start with competitiveness. It stands for the degree of rivalry within the supply market. Does rivalry mean that the suppliers work hard to win or retain a business? Indeed, Daniel. In a very competitive market, suppliers work to outmaneuver one another, often by price cutting. OK, what about the power of buyers? Buyers in a position of power can get more value by using leverage to force down price. In regards to business travel, Lava is in a position of power. Indeed, in the portfolio matrix, we positioned the travel category in the leverage quadrant. That's right, Daniel. Next, we have the power of suppliers. Suppliers in position of power can increase their own value by charging, for example, higher prices. This could be the case if we have only one travel agency. They would define the price instead of us. Exactly. The scope for new entrants stands for how easy it is to enter the supply market. The new entrant will bring new capacity. They will work to secure market share, which will put pressure on price. I see. In the case of business travel, there are four global travel agencies. The chances a new travel agency will enter this market is rather small. I agree. Finally, scope for substitutes stands for the availability of substitutes. An example is to have virtual meetings instead of traveling around the globe. Another example is to use e-learning. This will require less travel for staff to attend the class training. You can click here to download the PDF containing the Michael Porter's Five Forces model.